We're concentrating on the guys here. Great conditions. It's going to be a great day. Nico DeFonte kicks it away from Travel Pinto. That one bounces over the head of Cummings. He'll take it in the end zone and waste no time. He will take a knee there. O'Connor here will start on his own 35. His team trailing 1-0 early. And O'Connor, quarterback option. He's going to flip that out to Cummings. And Cummings is able to barge ahead. He'll pick up about five or six yards. Now in the shotgun here, second and four for O'Connor. And a quick hitter, far side. And that one will be close to a first down. First from their own 45. O'Connor with three targets to his right. Looks to his left, now dumps it off to Cummings out of the backfield. And Cummings will pick up about four or five more yards. Now O'Connor with two men swinging underneath. And now he'll go far side. And that one bobbled by Travel Pinto. But he brings it in before he steps out of bounds. He's an all-star on this Calgary defense. Empty backfield this time for O'Connor. Pressure coming right up the middle. Dumps it over the top to Ben Cummings. And Cummings is going to walk this into the end zone. UBC strikes first. Michael O'Connor just holds on to the ball for that extra split second. There you see that hesitation from tights. And right in behind him, the running back on the post route and he is patient in there and that's going to be something Calgary's going to have to be wary of. First look at the return game for the Dinos. Um, we we, we kind of approach every game as a single game but this game means a lot. I mean it's hard to cope, you know. They're very good. I expect to see more pressure in the face of Sinagra here today. We'll hand this one off to Robert Stewart and Stewart jammed up at the line. This one will depend on the spot. A good Josiah Joseph in the game. Short yardage here for Calgary. He'll keep it and flip it outside and we saw that a couple UBC touchdown to Ben Cummings Sinegra underneath again this one will be complete for a short pickup can't get much better than what they did this year first in a number of categories now here's Stewart trying to kick it outside and the running back move last week we'll see if they involve Stewart in that again they'll hand it off to Stewart this time in that UBC defense waiting with open arm going in this situation second and nine from midfield Looking down the middle, now he's going to roll out to his left. He's got some room to run, and he's going to pick up the first down. Yes. First and ten here now. Sinegra, play action. He's going to look down the field. Too far for the intended target. Second and ten now. Ball on that UBC 45. Sinegra with... Tara Plamundin moving over to his right. Four targets to the right now for Sinegra. This time overthrows the intended target around the 30. And it's a low punt that will bounce down and be taken by Pinto at the five. Nowhere to go. Makes a couple of men miss. Gets this is a big defensive possession here. Well, for sure. The biggest difference is UBC. That's a touchdown for UBC. They scored that for their season. We'll see if they can get to O'Connor today. Empty backfield now. O'Connor and that line are going to shift to the left. Now he throws it, and that one incomplete. He was watching Hutchins in warm-up, kicking from about this same spot. And he was putting him out to about the 50, but he will take the knee here. A flag also flies. We are just past the midway point here of the first quarter. Calgary trailing 7-3, to three, and now they'll get this ball into the hands of a playmaker on the far side of the field. Second and short. Joseph back in the game at quarterback. Bounced one out last time to the right. This time he'll take it to the left. Actually picks up about three or four yards on that carry. Sinagra, three of five so far in the afternoon. Looking for his fourth completion of the day, and he's got it right over the middle. That'll be taken out at about the 43-yard line. Sinagra fakes the handoff, throws it low, but it's scooped up. And taken up the sideline, pushed out of bounds there. So it will still be second and ten. Sinegro, six options down the field. He'll come over the middle, and that'll be complete, and that will be enough for the first down, actually. Does that ball pop loose? And they'll say incomplete. They do give him credit for the catch, so it's a first down here on the UBC 30. Sinegra, he'll hand it off to Stewart right up the middle, and he'll be wrapped up from behind. Second and seven from the 27. Sinegra throwing this time. He's going to look over the middle, and that will be complete to the end zone. Touchdown, Hunter Carl. Who else for the Dinos? You can see Sinegra look off and then come back to Carl. And just the pursuit angles of UBC not able to keep him out of the end zone. 10 7. Dinos lead, and they'll actually kick this ball from the 50 after a flag against UBC. This will come back down to Cummings, and Cummings will 
give up a point there. Uh, yeah, that's, I'm not sure how many points that gives him over the course of the game, but he earned it. I'm just impressed that Darren DuPont went back to the 70s to chat with Hunter Carl on the <laughs> sidelines. That was things are going to break down, things are going to happen, but a steady quarterback, a presence back there just settles everyone down on the offense. Here's Ben Cummings. He's going to pick up another first down. A good job kicking that almost a counter out to the right of that line. Anything. We'll see if UBC can continue to pound the corner. First and 10 for O'Connor. He was going to look down the field and looked like that play was disrupted about 10 yards before where that ball was supposed to. 11-7. They trail right now. Empty backfield here. O'Connor. A ton of time. Now he's going to be forced to his left. Tries to dump it off underneath to Cummings. And that'll be complete. We do have a flag. It's either a hold. Two returners waiting back for this punt from Hutchins. And he'll let it fly from just inside his own 50. This will come down to Eric Newsel at the 18. Newsel's going to try to kick it outside. And a good job by UBC return team. The Calgary in the last decade has been spectacular. Now Sinegra once again fakes that handoff to Stewart. Will throw it underneath and that will be close to enough for the first down in the first quarter. His team leads 11-7. It off to Stewart right up the middle, and Stewart's gonna bust one. Stewart's still going. Will he be tracked down from behind? One right up the middle. Now, once again, another swing pass underneath. And Sinegra, this time he'll give it to Stewart. And Stewart, good second effort. Looks as though he's gonna have enough for the first down. First and 10 from the 35 here. Sinegra once again will fake that handoff, rolls to his right, throws it down the field. And that one up and out of the reach of the intended targeting. Second and 10 now on the 35, four targets to the right here for Sinegra. Stewart stays in there to block Sinegra. Once again, that's the second time in that same spot. He dumped it off underneath a lot more often. 42-yard attempt here for DeFonte is wide left. Travell Pinto's going to bring it out. And Travell Pinto's going to take it to the 20. Travell Pinto up to the 35, a flag at the 10. T-Birds will start on their own seven. O'Connor throwing here near side, and that will be complete to Marshall Cook, his second catch of the game. It'll be a three targets to the left here for O'Connor. Big front there to hand that ball off to Cummings. And Cummings will be short third and short and the UBC Thunderbirds might be stuffed here on their own 15 what a play by the Calgary defense Boston roll he really had to get past there's no way this is a, no chance this is a first down so how's this for field position to start a drive Sinegra he'll hand it off to Stewart trying to get away broke a couple of tackles and rumbles his way down to near first down and from the seven here for Sinegra trying to take advantage of a turnover on downs they'll hand it off to Stewart again trying to bounce it to the right breaks a couple of tackles still going those guys you were dragging were Canada West all-stars on the season <laughs> now here they'll hand it off again trying to plunge ahead and that one will be close huge for UBC now it'll be a field goal attempt for Nico DeFonte that's a big swing and that's a big penalty to take Eat, no matter whether it was UBC or Calgary, when you're down in that situation, that's a big penalty. And I knew I was I lost my mind a little bit, but <laughs> glad to know I haven't completely lost it. Because you and I are, we've got papers everywhere, but I know Wayne Harris, head coach of the Dinos, will not be pleased with what transpired there for the Dinos. Here's O'Connor throwing now, empty backfield. He's going to look down the field. That's up for grabs. Almost picked off. Now it is. No. We're going to blow it down. It hit the turf. And boy, Calgary is acting like it did not hit the turf. They are freaking out there right now. Initially, he is open. Oh, you that hit a leg. That is an interception. You kind of lose it with the crossbar, but that angle definitely shows you. If I break this down properly, it went off of Schmidt's hands, off of Lucision, off the leg of Pinto, and then back to Lucision. There you see Pinto. I don't think he even sees it, but he does kick it up. That ball never touches the turf if that, if the situation had been reversed. A uh, huge and strange play in this football game. Now Stewart's going back to work. There's nine for 76. Calgary not messing around here. They'll move this quickly. They'll kick it outside this time to Stewart. Oh, and he got hammered. But he Very good again against this strong front seven. You can see they're opening up holes for Stewart. Now uh, a quick hitter. And this one will pick up about five yards a good push actually there from the dinos as some of the big boys got up there to help abdel rahim the playoffs against regina and had eight tackles 
Stewart again, right up the middle. And he tried to spin his way towards a first down. I think we're going to see it at some point where they look to go over the top. This is a deep and balanced Calgary attack. Stewart already at 83 yards. How about some more? Right up the middle again. And he'll take this down to the UBC 50s. 14-7 Calgary leads. Sinegra, Stewart again, up the middle again. First down again here. Get a little bit of a breather. Sinegra's going to throw, he's going to look over the middle, and that one defended well, but not well enough, a flag thrown on the play. And now they'll try to go up the middle again. And you have this out, you'll look to your veterans, and he's one of them. Sinegra throwing here, some pressure from UBC, so he'll dump it off underneath. Couple of chances here to wrap up Brandon Tara Plumundin. It's a beautiful afternoon here at McMahon Stadium in Calgary for the 81st Hardy Cup. And DeFonte, this kick is up. And that one is good. So need to get their offense going. Scored on the first possession of the football game and have not really been close since. Here's a Cummings. Now they'll hand it off again to Cummings. And a good job to avoid a couple of tackles, but the dime. Got two returners back on these punts today. And Hutchins, a high kick. That's going to come down at about the 35. Newsom takes it there. And the flag flies for no yards. And then you can see there. There you've got a quick look at the time of possession. Well, well in favor of Calgary. And once again, a heck of a second effort here for the Dinos. Need about a yard, maybe a little bit more. And once again, Joseph in the game. And that's almost what you've seen here from Calgary. And it's also, it sparked their offense. And again, we've talked so many times already about the second effort from the likes of Dean Carey's already. He's almost, he's a quarter of the way to what he had throughout the whole season. Now Sinegra. Have to scramble around a bit, rolls to his right, pressure coming. Steps back so he can still throw this ball, and that is complete. First and 10 now from the 29. And they'll run a sweep out here to Stewart. Spins away from a couple of T-Bird defenders, and then is taken down after a pickup of about three for the Dinos. Now here's Sinegra. And this time they'll try to run a draw to Stewart, and that is jammed up right down the middle there. 36 yarder here for DeFonte. Two of three on the afternoon. This kick is up. And that one is wide right. It'll come down to Travel Pinto. Pinto's gonna try to get it out of the end zone on the far side. And he gets no, just enough. Yeah. He hasn't had the ball basically at all this whole half. And yet you're only down by 10 points. Here's O'Connor now. Pressure coming. Escapes up the middle. And now he's gonna slide and get popped. And there is the flag. The flag came down a little bit late. He's committed. He's sliding. You gotta stop that and not take that hit. This time he's throwing and he's gonna send one down the field. Travel Pinto wide open. Touchdown, UBC. Travel Pinto for the second week in a row. That's open against this Calgary zone, just right up the seam. And a speedy receiver like that, there is no chance that you're gonna catch up to. And all of a sudden, they are just down 17-14. We've got an entertaining first half here in the 81st Hardy Cup. Now this ball come down inside the Calgary end zone. It'll be brought out and brought back to the 15. About to the 17. Very similar to up the seam and left wide open as well. Now Stenegra back to the ground. Robert Stewart, why not? This time he is wrapped up over 100 yards already, as we mentioned. He's at 113 now. Here's Stenegra. Pressure coming up the middle. And he's able to complete that pass with a high tackle for Stenegra. And he'll hand it off to Stewart. A good push again. Running downhill right now, the Calgary Dinos are. And they'll do it again. And a nice move by Stewart to make one man miss. He gets into the second level. And eventually tracked down from behind. Smack dab at midfield. Seavers blocking downfield, opening up extra yardage. Now they'll swing one underneath. Now here is Sinagra, second and six. Pressure right up the middle. And he throws it away. Great pressure right up the middle. Ben Aladdick, who had two sacks last week. And a flag. Hey. Defonte. He'll kick this one. And that will come down. And taken just inside the 30. A couple of tackles missed there. A very good safety in a brief C CFL career. Deloria, JJ trying to get a party cup today. Down the field again, almost brought in with one hand as he was looking for Alex Morrison, who has become a big play receiver here this season. 
two touchdowns last week. Now Hutchins will kick this away, a high kick. And that one will come down at the 42. No flags on the field this time as it is returned up the far sideline. His offense to get him into field goal range. He'll be throwing here and some pressure coming too. He's going to look down the field. That ball up for grounds and it's caught just inside the 30. And 24 seconds on the clock in the first half. Calgary on the UBC 29 leading by three. Sinegra this time will flip it underneath. And that'll be complete. UBC doing a good job there to close quickly. What will Sinegra do here? He's got four targets to his left. He's going to roll to his right. Pressure coming here from the Thunderbirds. And Sinegra wisely will have to throw it away. And instantly points to who he was throwing that ball to. Defonte this time. And that one is good. Extends the lead to six for the Dinos with just five seconds remaining in the second quarter of the 81st Hardy Cup. Nielsen and Doug McLean with you, the 81st Hardy Cup. Thank you for joining us. We've got Andy Neal and Darren DuPont with us as well here. A beautiful afternoon at McMahon. And now Calgary, first return of the second half. That'll go back to about the 15. A little couple errant throws over the top of Hunter Carl, but for the most half, a pretty solid 30 minutes. Right back to the ground for Stewart, and a good stop there. 139 on the ground in the first for Stewart. Sinegra throwing here, and that one will be complete. Three targets to the left for Sinegra. He'll hand it off to Stewart, who tried to kick it out to the left, and nowhere to go there. Second and 10 here for Sinegra and the Dinos. Pressure coming from both sides. Sinegra, far side, and that pass incomplete. So you And they will get the ball to O'Connor, a pretty good field position, but a great kick here by DeFonte. Wow, what a punt. That's going to drop down at the 22 and roll all the way back down. Scooped up at the five by Delorier. Now he's in trouble, almost ran it back into his end, end zone. What a kick by Nico DeFonte. He passes that thing about 10 yards over the head of the returners for UBC. What a kick. O'Connor in his own end zone. Empty backfield, gets it underneath to Travel Pinto, makes one man miss, lunges ahead. Ball came out. I believe it would have been the ground that caused that ball to pop loose. Pinched out there, good pick up there by the truck and Doug. Empty backfield again here for O'Connor. And he will once again try to get it into the hands of Travel Pinto. Pinto, that's a tough catch. Down past your knees and be able to scoop that one up and gain positive yards is a big play. Second and four, O'Connor throwing again. And he had the first down as that catches yet today for Alex Morrison, who missed on a big one. Uh, but we'll see when he factors into this football game. Two touchdowns last week. O'Connor now with pressure coming up the middle. And that pass on the far side. Complete. But Four targets to the right here for O'Connor. He's going to try to flip it underneath. Almost put that right into the hands of a Calgary defender. Second and 20 now from their own 16. Four targets to the right for O'Connor. That's where he's going to look. Some back pressure coming. Picked up by Cummings. Shot down the field for Pinto. Up for grabs. Almost picked off. Broken up, though, by Abrams Webster. Hutchins stands on his one. Can he have a... Big kick here. This will come down right at midfield. Scooped up there by Newsel. Trying to kick it to the outside and nowhere to go there. Lee for the Dinos. Sinegra Stewart takes the ball and rumbles up the middle. 179 yards. Empty backfield here for Sinegra. Steps up down the field and that one is complete and taken out at the 17 and then all he can do is just push him out of bounds here's Sinegra again looking to strike this time maybe over the middle and that ball up for grabs and brought down what a catch there by Hunter Carl first and goal from the six for the Dinos can they punch it in this time Sinegra far side of the field touchdown Calgary and they waste no time getting it back in the hands of Richardson. Danny just runs out to the flat, across the goal line. And Zaishley just cannot get there in time. What a throw as well. From That's Sinegra. a perfect throw. You're right, Dustin. That's a great throw. The ball back with just over eight minutes remaining in the third quarter of the 81st Hardy Cup. They will surrender another point here. Uh, type of game, but right now we have a bigger lead than we did last week. So I think right now it's just maintaining it and building it. Good stuff. Congratulations on the touchdown. Thank you. 28-14, O'Connor and Thunderbirds trailing right now. 
empty backfield here. And once again, that'll be complete for about five or six yards, right back into the reliable hands of Alex Morrison. So we saw him run by Adam Lorenz in the first half here. O'Connor just could not catch up to him. O'Connor in trouble there, got rid of that ball just in the nick of time as pressure was coming. Today, I think, has to cause some concern on that Thunderbird sideline. Hudson's kick is going to come down and bounce at the 25, scooped up at the 20. And nowhere to go. Good coverage downfield. Uh, good news, they were wrestling champions. Bad news, they had to wear those outfits, Doug. <laughs> yeah, those singlets. Luckily, in today's wrestling, I'm not sure they're a lot better. They're, they, co they cover a little bit more. <laughs> Old Montreal Concord and Wayne Harris are the couple teams, including the Stampeders. Now they'll pitch one outside, and that looks as though it'll be enough for a first down. The 35 for the Dinos. They lead by 14. Sinegra fakes the handoff. This time he's going to run with that ball. Now down the field and looked as though he was just throwing that one away. And second and 10. Sinegra, they're going to go downfield this time. Yes, he is. Has a man down there defended extremely well by Malcolm Lee. Four and a half minutes remaining here. Third quarter. Defonte's kick once again away from Travel Pinto and once again over the head of Delorier. He'll have to go back and take it inside the 20 and he'll get it out at about the 22. So not as much damage as last time. Trailing by 14. O'Connor takes over here for UBC. Good news for the T-Birds is that they have the ability to hit on big plays. They have already twice in this game. This time they'll hand it off to Cummings. Tries to cut it back and he does. Cummings will get it up close to a first down. Second and short. O'Connor will hand it off. Cummings has the first down and more right up the middle. He'll take it out to the 45. Line of UBC. O'Connor, they're going to run it again with Cummings. And he's able to kick it to the outside. UBC with just 63 at this point. Here is O'Connor. Four targets to his left. Pressure coming up the middle. He'll get this ball into the hands on the far side. Here's a huge play in the football game. Third and one midfield. He's in the shotgun. O'Connor gets it to Cummings, right up the middle, first down there. Interesting play design. Side two minutes remaining, third quarter. Four targets to the right here for O'Connor. He's going to be passing this time. And that one complete, close to a first down for Marshall Cook. From them all day long. First and ten on the Calgary 40. O'Connor, a little bit of time here, looking for Morris. And down the field, Morris has got it! Touchdown, UBC! They strike again with the big play and pull within seven. And here's a look. And that's just a bit of, not sure there's a whole lot of push there from good drive. A lot really driven on the ground with Ben Cummings and opening up some holes for him. His kick will be taken at the 20. Now brought back to the 25. And really nowhere to go. Wrapped up at about the 27. The old classic 8 for 8. Yeah, you know, just what, pretty standard stuff. <laughs> it's only been happening in fantasy leagues. As this carry pushes ahead for about 8 or 9 yards. Second and 1, as Doug mentioned. On the 36. They'll hand it off to Stewart. Had to hesitate, cut it back. Pretty good job there by that UBC defense. I'm not sure if he had enough. They keep it here. They'll hand it off, and maybe a good push there from Stewart, and you look soon, maybe that's how they seal this game away in the hands of Robert Stewart as well. They'll be throwing here, and that's going to come underneath for a first down and more. A big play here for the Dinos to start the fourth quarter on the near side of the field, down to the 30, and cutting it back once again, Hunter Carl. While holding the Dinos to a field goal attempt here would be huge. Trailing by seven, less than 15 minutes away from crowning a Hardy Cup champion. Sinegra hands it off to Stewart. And Stewart had a couple of good moves to get down. Second and three now for Sinegra. Stewart again, why not? And how about this? A good job there by that Calgary defense. They closed on him quickly there. 21 yarder straight on for Defonte. And he will hammer that one home to push the lead to 10. Third, trailing by 10, O'Connor takes over at the 35 for this UBC offense. A ton of time here for the big fella. Now he's going to roll to his right. Looks downfield. Marshall Cook got it. Knocked away as he stepped out of bounds. 
But they're going to say it's a completed pass on the far side of the field. Possession. Now here comes some pressure this time. O'Connor has to roll to his right. And that will be complete to Travel Pinto. And UBC marching. Looking to answer back with a major of their own. O'Connor from just inside the 25. Pressure coming. Gets it away. Up for grabs. And that one incomplete. Second and 10 now for O'Connor. Three targets to his left, nobody to his right. He's gonna roll to the left now. Now he's gonna look towards the end zone, has a man! Touchdown! Marshall Cook slid under that ball, controlled it as he brought it down. And there you see O'Connor just unleashes it. And that's a pretty tough call for the official, whether he has control before he hits the white stripe. And he does. I think that's the right call. That's Connor's having himself a heck of a day. Three-point game, 31-28. Don't go anywhere here. 81st Hardy Cup has been a beauty. And now this return brought back out to the 15. Whoa, there we go. Up to about the 17. Let's send it. If that's what's causing all these players to have their feet get locked a little bit in the turf more than we might normally see. Three factors in. They've been on the field for more than 30 minutes already in this football game. This time they're going to bring pressure and that pass up high and brought down on the far side of the field. So ten and a half minutes to play. Dinos lead by three. They've got the ball now on their own 30. Pressure on Sinegra and he gets rid of it just in time. Scooped up by UBC but the, they're going to say wow I, it was an interception. Here's a look, Doug. You can see Kladik comes right at him. And it bounce, and it's oh, an interception. My goodness, off the hands of the receiver up in the air and picked off by Oda. They led 7-1 at one point. Here's O'Connor. First and 10 from the 23 of the Dinos after the interception. They'll hand it off to Cummings. Cummings cutting his way back up. And that's a good first down carry. He'll pick up about eight yards. Second and two now from the 15, O'Connor. Cummings again. Cummings right up the middle, and he's going to push it down towards the end zone. Touchdown, Ben Cummings. UBC takes the lead with nine and a half minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Just a huge push downfield from this veteran group. And look at those seals on the outside, and Cummings just has daylight in front of him before he has to worry about anybody wearing red. Calgary not. That is really the story right now as to why UBC has this four-point lead. It's touchdowns. Five touchdowns, no field goals for UBC today. Now here's an opportunity for a big return on the far side of the field. That'll be taken up. Congratulations on the score. Thank you. Thank you. Calgary back to Robert Stewart, and he'll plunge ahead for about four yards on that first down carry. The and the turnovers have helped him as well. Now here's Sinegra throwing this time. Pressure from behind, got away! Picked up the first down and slides it up just inside the 50. 17 carries, 145 yards on the year, does it to his advantage there. First and 10 from his own 49. Sinegra down the far side of the field, has a man! Oh my goodness! It's dropped! Wow, and he's been so good all day, all season. Now over the middle, that one will be incomplete, but there's a flag on the far side. Tied at 16, they punch back with the big play. Today, they end up falling behind. They had the big play, and Hunter Carl just could not hang on to it. And now this return corralled just inside the 20 by Delorier. See if they can stop him here. O'Connor, first and 10 from his own 21 with a four point lead now in this football game. And he'll pitch it outside to Cummings. Big block downfield opens up some room. And Cummings is going to get the first down. Here is O'Connor. A little bit of time. Now he's going to look down the field. The flag flies. That pass is overthrown. Probably a hold with the amount of time that O'Connor had, which is again a seven man front protecting him. O'Connor far side. That one incomplete. Is that picked off? Picked off on the far side of the field. Trayshawn Abrams Webster. Where there were numerous red jerseys. Floats it out a little bit. Marshall Cook gets one hand on it. And Abraham Webster able to get two on it. And that's Calgary football. Huge turnover. And now, how about this returning the favor, possibly? Calgary, they're going to take a shot to the end zone right away! Touchdown! Dinos answer back! Redemption for Hunter Carl! Little play action. 
And there you see Katzentonis turns to Chase to try to help out Malcolm Lee, but he can't get there in time. And, and they've been able to cash in. And for Calgary, that's big. That's not only their third touchdown on the day compared to the five for UBC. Uh, Delore on the return, and he's going to try to bust it up the middle. He'll get back to about the 24-yard line. Of confidence going into these last five minutes, so hopefully the defense can keep it up. <laughs> T-Birds down by three, 38-35. Some pressure coming now. O'Connor near side, and that one will be knocked away. And just under five minutes remaining. Hutchins stands on his 10. The kick, a pretty good one. That's going to come down just inside the 50. And nowhere to go there. Dinos, Adam Sinegra, the quarterback, leading by three. They'll hand it off to Stewart. And Stewart able to make a couple of men miss, pushing another one out of the way. 34 minutes of possession for the Dinos today. Some pressure this time. Right up the middle. They're going to get to Sinegra and take him down. There's defensive play that you needed. Flag far side of the field. No, it's going to be a legal contact Ooh. against UBC. Because they didn't actually announce the number. Another flag as this ball's handed off to Stewart. Sinegra. Stewart again, and Stewart bounces off of one man and spins ahead for close to a first down. It's a three-point lead for the Dinos, and they're knocking on the door for more. His pass complete, and almost able to stay on the feet there. Remarkable. Stewart again, and this time he's wrapped up, and they will be in a position here where they will have to kick a field goal. 28-yarder for Nico DeFonte. And this kick is up. This one, no doubt about it. Actually very surprised by this. And once again, they will kick it away. And this one will come to Cummings. He'll take it in front of Pinto. And Cummings will get it back to the 17. A minute and 51 seconds to work here for O'Connor. He starts on his 18. And this one will be complete on the near side of the field. And Connor now, second and four. He'll be throwing here. Patiently gets it to Morrison and he will hang on first and ten actually from the 31 O'Connor throwing again as Cummings underneath quickly out to Morrison and that will be complete close to another first down second and short O'Connor quickly again and this one behind Delorier in shotgun needing a yard with the game on the line for O'Connor They'll hand it off to Cummings. He's got the first down and more. Ben Cummings is going to plow it ahead up to the 49. Wow. From the 49 now. That's complete to Cummings out of the backfield. He'll get out of bounds. 67 seconds from midfield for O'Connor. Three targets to his left. And O'Connor near side. Trey Kellogg. First catch of the game. Third down and one. Shotgun again. Nelson in the game again to lead for Cummings. Calgary's going to bring pressure right up the middle. Cummings busts through. And he'll take it down inside the 45. Wow. First and 10 from the 45 now for O'Connor. Over the middle. That'll be complete. Travel Pinto. They've got to move quickly here. Field goal won't do it. They need six for the tie. Cummings up the middle. Ben Cummings takes it inside the 20. Now he's going to swing it to the far side. Taken down inside the 12. What a drive drive for Ben Cummings and UBC. They need a touchdown here. 35 seconds on the clock. O'Connor Cummings up the middle. Ben Cummings takes it down to the six where he's wrapped up. Second and three from the six. O'Connor is going to look to the end zone. Touchdown UBC far aside of the field. Alex Morrison puts the T-Birds in a tie at 41. This ball is actually thrown a little bit short. And you can see the battle. Look oh. at that over top of Lorenz. Oh Lorenz my. never turns his head at all, despite he's in, the fact he's in great coverage. An extra point for the Hardy Cup. That kick is hammered home. And UBC takes a 42-41 lead. Oh. We stranger things have certainly happened. 42 41 UBC with 16 seconds left. They'll kick this away. They'll drive it hard and low. This one will come down in the end zone and they will take a knee there. Here we go. 14 seconds on the clock. Sinegra, five men downfield. Pressure coming from the backside. That ball up for grabs. Ledwos drive it down. Tyler Ledwos pulls it in at the 53. Eight seconds on the clock. 
eight seconds on the clock. Sinegra taking a little bit of time here. He'll dump it underneath. They've got three seconds left. And they will get out of bounds, but they're only at the 52. So they are line of scrimmage is the UBC 52. This is a... He's setting up at the 59. This is a 59-yard attempt, and in front of me, I don't have the Canada West record. Well, I'll tell you, a hardy field goal. never been one on a 59-yarder. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Nico DeFonte from 59 yards. Yes, that's right, 59 yards for a hardy cup. Kick is up. Does it have the leg? It does! Are you kidding me? Nico DeFonte from 59 yards to win the 81st party cup. I can't believe it. I, I can't believe it. I don't even know what to say. Calgary absolutely going nuts. UBC despondent. Heartbreaker. And DeFonte, despite the fact that he was five for seven, but he, he had not seemingly kicked with huge leg. But this one, he knew he had, he knew he had it between the uprights. Did he have enough distance? Unbelievable. UBC seemed to have this game completely in their control. And DeFonte pulls it out. Absolutely incredible. I have no more words for this football game here this afternoon. 44. 43 Calgary wins Ladies and gentlemen your 81st Hardy Cup champion the Calgary Dinos